The vice chairman of one of Pakistan's largest conglomerates is among those missing after a submersible carrying wealthy tourists to see the wreckage of Titanic disappeared at sea. Now, Pakistan-born Shehzada Daud is the vice chairperson of Engro Corporation, which has investments in fertilizers, vehicle manufacturing, energy and digital technologies. His 19-year-old son, Suleiman, who is a university student, was also on board the submer uh, submarine. Rescuers also were scoring thousands of square miles to in the remote uh, North Atlantic uh, Ocean for a third day on Tuesday, racing against time to find the missing submersible after it disappeared in the deep waters of Canada's coast. Remember, there's only limited quantity of oxygen that's still left on that submersible. It's important to track it down so that the lives on it can be saved. As it's a submersible, it's neutrally buoyant, so it's not like a boat that sits on the water. It'll be mostly just below the surface. It's only just a small amount above it. And the crew are inside the uh, submersible, and they can't get out. They require someone to undo the bolts from the outside, so they can't get out of the seagull. This thing is about the size of a large transit van, about seven meters long, white. So it's going to be quite difficult to spot it from the air. And probably the worst place for them to be would be on the seafloor, which implied that the vehicle itself either imploded or got tangled somehow, much to, our, to the distress of the captain in the mess of the Titanic. I mean, it's a mangled wreck with probably all kinds of treacherous things which would not be very friendly for a small boat, about seven meters. 